Hey everybody, Rahul from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with it. Another power packed tips video is all about last minute tips. Let's say you have exam tomorrow. What are the things that needs to be kept in mind so that you don't make the silly errors and you also understand a lot of last minute techniques. So before we get into the video, if not subscribe to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. And anytime you need online assistance, it's a paid assistance. You can WhatsApp us to the number appearing at the bottom on the screen. So we will be there. I'll be there to help you guide in the right direction. All right, let's straight away get directly into the video. Watch this a night before the exam for a 90 out of 90. First thing first, let's you know talk about the speaking and then writing, reading, listening. This is going to be a short video. First thing first, read aloud. Don't fumble, man. You just have to maintain the consistency and calm your nerves by taking a deep breath and have a smile on your face so that you go at your comfortable speed. Be fluent. Fluency means, you know, you go at your comfortable speed. Right now, I'm talking at my comfortable speed. I'm not rushing. I'm not going slow. Try to be at a rhythmic speed. Market research is a vital part. Of da, 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 da. Like this, try to be more fluent and don't give intonation. Don't sing. Market research is a vital part. Don't do this. They don't. You don't get the marks for that. And it will usually not take more than twenty seconds unless the um, you know the the length of the passage is too long. But usually, it will not be. Most of the time, you will finish it in less than 20 seconds. Know that and click the next button immediately once finished. Don't have to wait for the you know, microphone to turn off. Correct. Once you speak and once you end speaking, three seconds it will wait. And once three seconds is done, then only the microphone, you know, I mean, the microphone will turn off. Don't wait till there. Just click one. I mean, just click the next button immediately and move on to the next question. You will save a lot of time. One line strategy at your own risk, it will definitely work provided you don't make any mistakes. You have a problem in the read aloud, then don't try one line. One line also you will make three to four mistakes and you are first of all giving this much of data to the software. Out of this much of data, you are giving this much. On top of that, you made some mistakes. Probably scores will not be really good. So I don't suggest one line if you have problems. Let's say you are so perfect in your read aloud, then you can speak one line or two line. It doesn't matter. You will speak perfectly, you get marks. In a nutshell, yes, one line will work provided you don't make any mistakes. If you have, you know, the trouble in the read aloud, then try one line at your own risk. That is a read aloud. And don't worry too much about the pronunciation. Pronunciation is not going to give you mark. What gives you marks is the clarity. That's what they are trying to say when they mean the pronunciation. What do they search me like this? Will you be able to understand? No, you don't understand anything. People speak the read aloud this way. Avoid doing it. Open the mouth more clearly with a crisp clarity speak with an intention of conveying your message. Imagine your friend is sitting. How do you talk to your friend? You talk in a way your friend understands. That way you need to open the mouth more and speak. And if you feel nervous, a lot of people do because this is the start of the exam. The starting trouble will be that you got to push yourself. Have a smile on your face. It will definitely relax your nerves and believe in yourself. All this nervousness, the negative thoughts all just vanish. Believe me on this. All right. So we quickly move on to repeat sentence again. Don't fumble, don't fumble, don't fumble. At one end content, but at the other end, it's the fluency. Fluency provides a better you know, marks, I mean, the fluency has a higher priority compared to the content. So if you fumble, software will not be able to understand clearly what exactly you speak. As a result, even if you speak correctly, you will not get the marks. Let's say the audio is, please come to the next seminar properly prepared. And you spoke, please come to the ne next seminar pr properly prepared. This is going to be a zero because when you fumble, software goes crazy, you don't understand. It doesn't understand rather. So don't fumble, be more fluent. Don't worry too much about the content. Content is not a priority in your repeat sentence. Remember this. It's a fluency, fluency, fluency. Put all these thoughts in into your subconscious so that on the exam day, it will be more aware. It knows what matters and what doesn't matter. Keep keep telling your mind it's the fluency, not the content. It's the fluency. But content cannot be less than 50%. At least 50-60% needs to be math. So listen to 60% and speak that 60%. Fluently, you will get marks. But let's say you don't have any problem in the repeat sentence, then listen full, speak full, you will still get marks. But even if you speak just 60 percent, you get marks. Let's say your ability is only six words and audio has 10 words. Listen to only six words. Post six words, close your ears. 
problem is you listen to full and then try to implement this 60 50 60 percent wala strategy it will not work because already full data is there and on top of that and you know from that data you are trying to speak 60 percent it will not work feed only 60 percent speak only 60 percent that is the idea do not listen full if your capacity is less than that remember if your capacity is 6 words make sure you listen to 6 words and not more than that not a problem as long as you speak those 6 words perfectly for shorter audios do not speak this 60 percent speak full let us say the audio has only 5 words David went to the market yesterday morning speak this full it is easy you do not have to divide them and again speak of apply these things only for the lengthy audios and do not close your eyes lot of people end up making this mistake in repeat sentence sometimes there is no beep sound so how do you know when the mic is on the headset the mic will not be on all the time correct please come to the next seminar properly prepared beginning in two beginning in one recording then you should speak if you close your eyes listening and speaking you would end up speaking much before the mic is on as a result you would be assuming that you spoke everything correctly software says boy where is the data correct so be very careful do not close your eyes open your eyes make sure you see that one blue bar or recording name there and then only start speaking adding fillers no avoid adding fillers people speak something like this let us say the audio is please come to the next seminar properly prepared people speak please come to seminar I love you I love you I love you I love you all those things do not do man we have experimented everything temporarily you may see a good score in your speaking because fluency is enhanced what about content you are giving some nonsense data so obviously sometimes your listening will go down so try all this at your own risk I am telling you ok do not do not bring up with something new uh, you know with I mean for which you are not very confident all this do not try just simple technique listen less speak less do not speak more in repeat sentence this is the technique and then describe image uh, do not fumble what matters in describe image is the fluency not the content content not even 1 percent priority make sure you speak in describe image at the speed the same speed that you spoke in read aloud what happens is describe image people would already know the template the given image represents a beautiful image there must have they go very fast read aloud market research is a vital part so again there is a mismatch in the speed correct whatever the speed you spoke with in read aloud the same speed you are supposed to speak even in describe image that is being fluency here do not fumble do not worry about the content I have to give maximum minimum all those do not give any marks it is a image software cannot see an image it does not have eyes remember this any template is fine I have given templates in many of my videos you can follow that or whatever the templates you have please use does not matter but make sure you use a template which has a lengthy sentence there must have been a popular debate about the information given in the the images the images the images this image has that template can also give you mark but if at all you are already struggling in speaking avoid all those take a template which has lengthy sentences so that your fluency will be up to the mark avoid using too much keywords avoid using those templates which has many keywords where you need to see the image and then incorporate the keywords in your speech sometimes people while doing so fumble the given image represents home and international st st students why do you want all this if you fumble you lose marks you do not get the marks just because you are reading a title you are giving keyword no the you know the fluency alone wins the race here avoid using those templates which have so many keywords in them in fact you do not need to add any keywords 20 25 seconds is enough do not have to speak for 40 seconds remember the more you speak the more mistakes you make we will quickly go to retail lecture again uh, the fluency wins the race do not fumble do not be in a hurry do not rush go at your convenient speed whatever the speed you went with in read aloud same speed in describe image same speed in retail lecture repeat sentence make sure you copy the speed of the speaker not the accent or the pronunciation retail lecture be fluent add phrases instead of keywords we have recently experimented this and made a video on this wherein we added keywords we got some marks we added we added phrases we got more marks add a phrase phrases like four or five words once one phrase four or five words together is a one phrase add phrases instead of keywords for a better marks towards your listening module any template is fine that I have also given a template use that and again use a template which has lengthy sentences so that you get a better mark for your fluency 
25 to 30 second is enough don't really have to speak for 40 second if even if you speak for 40 second it's okay but the more you speak the more mistakes you make remember this answer short question speak if you know the answer what if i don't know the answer speak something related to the question what if i don't know anything related to the question repeat the question this is not a priority don't have to pay someone the money and you know like memorize this a night before the exam don't do this this is a dummy module this will probably contribute one mark towards your listening it is not a priority all right we'll go to summarize written text very simple thing two full sentences don't copy half sentence after a full stop full sentence till a full stop like this do it one more time in any other paragraph so two full sentences you get between them add a comma connect an and just add and no need to try out any other things in the end put a full stop 40 to 50 words 35 words is more than enough 40 to 50 words is ideal even if you write 35 words it's okay don't write 74 words Pearson says 5 to 75 words don't write 74 words and all we don't we never know how the software acts for a 74 word one sentence with one full stop correct 40 to 50 45 is ideal one this is enough don't have to worry too much about this no need to practice a lot on this and one thing is don't try to write on your own using your own words because your tutor who has an IELTS background told you to not retain the same word at its synonym that is in IELTS not in PDA you add a synonym there is no guarantee software understands that synonym we don't know I mean basically we don't know how AI works it is still evolving by the day follow this this is working just copy paste exactly as it is add a connector comma connector in the end and that's it okay 40 to 50 words is ideal if i finish it in five minutes no summarized written text gives you 10 minutes right if i finish it in five minutes the remaining time can i carry forward to the next module no but this is a simple module finish it and click next don't worry about the time okay or some people ask me in summarized written text let's say i finished it in two minutes the remaining eight minutes can i write essay template you can write sometimes copy paste will not work if you can try out you can copy everything and keep it ready the next question you try to paste it if it works well and good if it doesn't work it's okay don't be don't feel dejected type again but yes this is the strategy this has worked for some some people don't know how to click on copy paste don't have to worry but those who know how to use those three buttons cut copy paste make use of it and if it gets pasted in the next question boom you will save a lot of time in your essay all right um, essay use any template uh, is totally fine but make sure you avoid that template which has one one word just topic we need to add avoid them if you need 65 or 79 for 50 58 it is still fine to an extent i always recommend people to have a template which demands you to write four or five sentences on your own related to the content just to be on the safer side and when you write four or five sentences on your own make sure you mix simple compound and complex sentence how to add these things i've made full video on essay how to you know avoid the grammatical errors how to you know use the simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence check that video just tap skills pt essay video there's so many link to it reference to it you can have a look at it okay proofread for spelling remember 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 means in 15 minutes you need to finish your essay total 20 minutes will be given the rest five minutes you need to go through your essay again identify all the spellings that you have made full mistakes and replace them correct them one quick strategy here avoid those spellings for which you are not sure about uh, the letters that word sorry avoid those words sorry on that avoid those words for which you don't have a clarity on the spelling you don't have to write you don't get any extra marks for writing high five word use simple words use the words that you know sometimes when you know the words and still spelling mistakes happen so proofread them because when you type you end up making a lot of mistakes you need to reread them reread them make use of this full 20 minutes complete make use of it because the spellings are the ones that decide your scores and silly grammatical errors and all don't make so proofread 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 this is uh, the one that actually gets you the marks not the working template and all the reality 210 words is ideal 220 230 is also fine don't have to write 290 and all 201 is also fine it has nothing to do with your score as long as it is between 200 to 300 well and good if i finish it in five minutes rather 15 minutes let's say remaining time can i use it for next module no so please use the complete time for your essay make sure there are no spelling mistakes all right 
reading writing fill in the blanks is the next module there is a catch here pay more attention once your writing module is done immediately the timer of the reading module starts i repeat the timer on the top right it starts counting let's say 30 minutes 29.59 29.5857 but here the questions are not appearing guidelines have appeared don't read guidelines even if you are new to PTE don't read read they are all dummy click next and move on to the first question and start doing it guidelines if you spend let us say 5 minutes gone case you do not get any time to solve the reading fill in the blanks first comes reading writing fill in the blanks very very important contributes approximately 25 marks towards your reading and 25 marks towards your writing 50 marks will come from this great module and do not take more than 2.5 minute per question on an um, ideal situation what happens is easy ones you do in 30 40 seconds or 1 minute real difficult ones take 4 minutes that way you can balance but on an average per question not more than 2.5 minute remember this use collocation knowledge and the grammar knowledge to solve those which are based on collocation and grammar those which are based on collocation those which are based on grammar you do not have to read the entire line that way you want to save a lot of time check my reading writing fill in the blanks full course video I've made many videos on grammar collocation grammar collocation if those blanks are based on grammar or collocation do them quickly and for those which are based on context take time it's okay that's how you balance the time two and a half minute per question is this is how you're going to balance it remember 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 be at peace and solve it conveniently comfortably with a happy face no the moment I see the timer of reading, writing, fill in the blanks, my heartbeat just races away. Do not have to get into a tension mode, just relax at your end. No? It is okay, I mean, what is going to happen? If you fail, what will happen? Earth will fall down, is it? No. Nothing will happen. You are going to give exam again, but in this exam, if you are not giving your best, your confidence goes down. You have some ability with you, right? Make use of that ability. Correct? Be at peace. Deep breath, deep breaths actually help me a lot and have that smile of yours spreading around. Just do it confidently, things will happen. Do not have to take that nervousness within you and mess it up. Remember this, remember this, remember this. Prepare yourself, let this be very strong, especially a night before, so that the next day on the exam day, you will just smash it, you will just nail it. And then comes choose multiple answer, do not read anything, select one answer and quickly move on, do not spend even more than one second, Pearson says negative marking, no negative marking and all for this, click one and move on, do not have to worry I am telling you, not even a second, do not read, this is a dummy module, this is just there, so that you spend time here, so that you get less time towards your reading fill in the blank, so that you give exam again, how by paying the money, alright, uh, then comes reorder, not a high priority module 4 to 6 marks on an average do not spend more than 1.5 minutes per question this reorder sometimes targets our ego what I mean is we will be so close to the answer and then we feel ah this logic is not fitting in let me try from the beginning keep on trying 10 minutes over per question not more than 1.5 minutes if you are able to solve in 1 1.5 minutes well and good if you are not able to solve still well and good take a chill pill and just randomly drag an answer and move on or whatever the answer you are confident with select and move on make sure you do not spend 1.5 minutes because next comes reading fill in the blanks that is where you consume lot of time reading writing fill in the blanks also you may not consume lot of time because each blank there will be 4 options but reading fill in the blanks is not like that one option can fit here the same option can fit here also the answer of this can be here the answer of this can be this whole lot many permutation combination it demands time you need to save some time so reorder not a priority do not have to worry do not have to worry do not have to worry reading fill in the blanks whatever the con concepts that I told uh, for reading writing fill in the blanks apply the same I made many videos full courses on reading fill in the blank you just type skills pt reading fill in the blanks videos you get a lot do not take again more than 2.5 minutes for easy question less than 1 minute for little tricky ones where it is purely based on context vocabulary where your grammar is not working then you take 4 minutes so that way you are going to balance this ideal average 2.5 minute per question hope you are getting it use collocation knowledge grammar knowledge for those which are based on collocation grammar for those which are not based on that you need to read find the clues and then solve which is context based it is going to be time consuming for context based it is okay 
we have this grammar inculcation method. For those which are based on grammar inculcation, there we you know solve it in a lesser time. So, here we give more time on an average 2.5 minutes, remember this. And be it peace, solve it conveniently. If you rush, you see what happens is, people see the time and then read. They read one line and they do not understand anything. So, what they end up doing? They read it again. This they try it more than 5-6 times. Nothing is going inside because they are rushing. Go at ease, you will solve it in less than 2 and a half minute. Trust me on this. Correct? And then comes choose multiple answer, select one and move on. There is no negative marking. I think I told it wrong. Choose single answer, I said negative marking. No, choose multiple answer. Pearson says there is a negative marking, not for single answer. But whatever they say is not. Uh, you know the same way reflecting in the exam. This does not have any negative marking, you choose one and move on. Choose single answer, choose one and move on, choose multiple answer, choose one and move on. Do not have to spend even one second in this. But this is going to be a last module, correct? After reading fill in the blanks, if you are left with some time, you do it. But do not have to save the time in reading fill in the blanks thinking who choose multiple answer is there. So, that I will solve it quickly and I will get more time for choose multiple answer. No. Use your complete time for reading fill in the blanks. Do not spend more than 1 second and click next and move on to the listening module post this. First comes summarize spoken text in the listening module, not a high priority but contributes 6 to 8 marks. These days 2 questions are appearing, 6 to 8 marks to listening and same 6 to 8 marks towards your writing module. Using a template which demands you to write 4 or 5 phrases same as the written lecture, but in written lecture choose a template which has lengthy words, here content matters. So, here avoid using a template which has the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant info, do not use such a big sentence. The lecture was about, in the beginning the speaker told, later he said, avoid using lengthy ones here, try to give more content, avoid using keywords. Use phrases so that your listening and writing goes up. If you do not do that, 4 or 5 marks will be lesser for your listening and writing. Be more careful. If possible, use a mix of simple sentence, compound and complex. Compound is having 2 simple sentence in between adding a comma and adding a connector. Use them, your writing score goes up. Write 65 to 70 words if possible, very, very important. Do not write 51 words and all, you may get less marks towards your listening and writing. Do not exceed 70 words at any cost. Proofread for spelling you wrote everything perfectly and then you made 5 spelling mistakes. This mostly going to be 0. Spelling is the weightage, spelling is the priority. They have given complete weightage for the spelling over anything else. Spelling, make sure you proofread. Avoid using those words which you are not comfortable with its spelling. Okay. Use complete 10 minutes, 10 minute timer will be there exclusively for this. 8 minutes I finished. So, the remaining 2 minutes, can I use it for the next module? No. Use the complete 10 minutes, proofread, proofread, proofread. And then comes choose multiple answer, not a priority, not a priority, not a priority. Do not have to read anything. Select one and move on, but there is a catch here. While the audio plays, the next button will not be activated. The next button gets activated only when the audio ends. So, what do I do when the audio plays? Then just try to solve it. Listen to the audio, see the option, read the question. Try solving it in your own way, no need to do anything, this is not an important module, it will not give you any mark, but yes, no harm in trying as long as the next button is deactivated and once the audio ends, let us say you know the answer, you got the correct answer, let us say, select one and click next. Let us say you did not get the correct answer, select one random, click next and move on. Once that next button activates, the moment the audio ends, you cannot take more than 2 seconds. You take 1 minute here, right from dictation, the final module, you do not get any time. Remember this, we are applying a strategy here, so that you get at least 4 to 5 minutes towards the end to solve your right from dictation. Right from dictation contributes 40 to 45 marks towards your listening, 40 to 45 marks towards your writing. 90 percent of the people miss at least one ride from dictation because of the timer. Entire listening is timed, some 30 minutes within that you have to finish everything. So, if you do not employ a strategy like this, by the time you reach ride from dictation, 2 minutes will be left. 4 questions, how do you do it in 2 minutes? You do 2 or 3 questions, 1 question left. As a result, your scores will be 62, 63, speaking 90, reading 90, we have seen this. This is very, very important. Uh, try solving it while the audio plays once the audio ends. Click one and move on if you know the answer, if you do not know the answer also, click one and move on. 
randomly one. It does not matter, they say negative, I mean negative marking for this, no negative marking we have to write. People have got 90 overall with the same method. Listening from the blanks, priority, 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 very, very important um, listening uh, skill is being tested. So, you listen and write the spelling. Sometimes you can use the grammar concepts. Uh, for example, to understand did they say development or developments? Did they say kill or killed? They are going to not say killed, they say killed. It is you at the end of the day, use your grammar knowledge. I made many videos on this, you can refer them. But here, yes, be aware there is a grammar, you know, I mean the concept called grammar concept using which you can actually discern, you can understand, decode. Yes was there or not, ed was there or not, write the correct spelling. Here you cannot add extra spellings, nothing works, exact spelling has to be there. 10 to 12 to 15 marks to listening, 10 to 12 to 15 marks towards your writing, very, very important module. The spelling is wrong, you are not going to get that mark. Capital letter, small letter does not make any difference. Remember this, remember this, remember this. If your typing speed is really good, directly you can type while you listen. Type and then click tab, the you know the cursor will automatically move on to the next blank and wait for you to write. If you are not that great at typing, then write in a book that is given to you and once the audience quickly transfer them by, ten, by not taking more than 20 seconds. Remember all these things otherwise if you do not employ these strategies, write from dictation gone case you do not get enough time. Remember this, remember this, remember this. Highlight correct summary not a priority, apply the same concept as we did for choose multiple answers. Select one and move on while the audio plays, try solving it. Once the audio ends, you know the answer, select the answer. I am not getting the answer, select random answer and move on, not a priority. This is not going to give you any mark. Choose single answer, not a priority, apply the same thing, try doing it as long as the audio plays, as long as the next button is deactivated. Once the audio ends, you know the answer, select the answer. You do not know the answer, select one random answer and move on to the next question. Do the same procedure for select missing word. Audio plays in the end, it comes peep you should try selecting the correct answer. If you can, if you know the answer, do it, do not spend 10 seconds, 20 seconds on this. If you are not getting it, select one and move on, it is not a priority. And then comes highlight incorrect words, important, very, very important. Listen and read separately what people end up doing. They listen and read what they listen, read what is given to you. Recently, I made a video on um, writing how to get 90. Uh, last Saturday, I made a video. I have given you a technique, not on the sorry, listening. I made a video recently, uh, 10 secret tips for listening. There, I have given a secret technique for this. You need to listen and read what is shown to you. 90 percent of the people read what they heard, what they hear. No, read and listen separately. Be more conscious. The, the input that you receive from ears and the input that you receive from eyes both are different. This module contributes marks to your listening and reading, 12 to 15 marks to listening and 12 to 15 marks to reading separately. And from my knowledge, this has negative marking. The other modules like choose multiple answer, Pearson say negative marking that is not, there is no negative marking for that. From my experience, this has negative marking in the sense, choose only the words which you are confident about. Let us say you are not sure about a particular word, which is whether this is an incorrect word or not, then do not select. If you select and if it is not an incorrect word, then you get minus 1. Be very careful, choose the one which you are confident. It is a very simple module, do not mess it up. If you are not confident, do not even dare to select that word. That is the last minute strategy for you. Select the answer only if you are confident and then comes right from dictation, very, very important. I made many videos on this, yet people do not trust and still ask. It is totally fine, I understand. Still ask whether adding extra words will work, it works. It may not work for you because you are not writing extra words which match the audio. You need to write extra words which matches the audio, correct? If it matches, you get the marks. Adding extra ma words in any way will not reduce the marks, remember this. Listen and write quickly in the short notes. Recently, I have shown how to write a short note, you can verify the recent videos. Uh, do not write full words, let us say there is a word everything, you write EV. Let us say there is a wo word um, school, you write SSE. Like the short note, short note, first letter some people write, I do not recommend. If that works for you, well and good. For some, it does not work because they write all the first letter of each word and then they come back 
they do not know what they wrote. I have seen this, try it, if it works for you well and good, if it is not working then at least write two or three letters of each word, then expand them, every word then add extra words like kill, killed, verb 1, verb 2, kills, verb 3, sorry verbes, kill, killed, kills, singular noun, plural noun, school, schools, mango, mangoes, wherever noun is there add singular, plural both, wherever verb is there, verb 1, verb 2, verbes, that is extra words. Spelling problem now, usually problem happens with respect to A, E, I, O, U, severe. I would request everyone of you watching this video to type the spelling of severe. 90 percent of them would write it wrong. Yes, E, V, I or V, E, R or R, E or R, I, people have trouble in A, E, I, O, U. So, know this that the words which constitute a vowel sound, A, E, I, O, U will have some trouble in few cases, add all the possibilities. Remember this. And in the end, if you really want, you can add a and the on, if, in, was, is, to, as, are. These are the commonly used words in most of the sentences. See, without prepositions, 90 percent of the sentence, 90 percent of the times, you cannot construct a sentence. Prepositions are really, really important. So, just add them if at all these words are present, you are going to get extra marks. I think that is all I have got. I really hope this video made sense. Um, if you really like the video, do leave your appreciation with a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, it really motivates us a lot when people subscribe and do leave a comment about how the video was. I really hope um, I made justice to around 32 minutes that I made you spend on this video. But trust me, this video is worth it. I have given everything last minute tips that is required. If your exam is tomorrow, Make sure you watch this video, make some notes. So, revise them the next day morning just before the exam. It gonna bring a magic to the score report. At least I hope so. With this, I will park it here guys. This is Nakul signing off from Skills PT Academy. Soon I will be back. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.